Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Ikamalam with Timsi Wagangu Beni A very warm welcome to all the new viewers Hope you like it here and you stay Please don't forget to like the video Comment in the comment section as I'd really love to interact with you guys And lastly, please don't leave without subscribing I'd highly, highly appreciate that And today you guys, I am showing you a step-by-step -step process Of exactly what I did to achieve this gorgeousness of a face period <laughs> one thing about me you guys this year is really if it doesn't um if it makes me feel better if it makes me feel incredible if it makes me look better if it grows me whether spirit spiritually emotionally intellectually physically then sign me up like sign me up i am becoming the best version of myself and I'm doing the best that I can through God who strengthens me to do exactly that and whether that looks like letting go of friendships and relationships that no longer serve you or setting up my um, boundaries you guys or um, drinking water and minding your own business baby <laughs> or taking up that um, class or course to sharpen that skill whatever that looks like you guys sign me up and um makeup is one of those so today i focus more on a cut crease just getting that clean look i'm not there yet you guys but i'm well on my way because through practice hard work and really just the willingness i know witty i'll get to being that 10 over 10 type of girl <laughs> when it comes to makeup and really just doing it the way I like it and how it how 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 it looks good on me and all of that so yeah you guys enough with the rambling if you would love to see how I achieve this face then please do tune in and I'll see you on the flip side <laughs> Okay guys, so let's get into it. First things first, okay, I'm going to keep looking down because my mirror is down there. And first things first, primer. With my primer, I put it on my T-zone, but then I've heard other people put it, who I've heard of other people who put it everywhere else on the face. So it goes back to Uguti. With e makeup, you guys, it is, um, it's not one size fits all, so you do what works for you. I just put it on my T-zone and that is because um, I heard which you must put it where you lower oily corner, you guys. So, you know, this is mainly where I get oily. Could have been a long free for you got me. Can you guys see the difference already? Okay. Then secondly, I always start with my brows. Okay, I think I need my mirror here. So I always start with my brows, you guys. <laughs> my brows are microbladed i first microbladed my brows back in 2017 yeah 2017 and then the second time i did it was 20 19 or early late 2019 or early 2020 and yeah i need to go back again this time i'm going to do ilo the ombre powdered ombre yeah powdered ombre but then also yeah 
another thing about these things is it all depends on your on i heard it depends on your skin type and stuff but then when i first did it it was really e microblading that was popular so yeah that's why i've always done popular like in in microblading and then guys this is my everyday makeup product i don't have anything new or that's aesthetically pleasing so if anything doesn't look on par i'm going to put a picture of it ne? but then yeah this year guys we are going in this year we going we so this is my LA Girl Primer and it's in the shade Toffee um, Concealer, not primer you guys Concealer and it's in the shade Toffee We've been up for way too long but I don't So what I find microblading has helped me with is Uguti It gives you the whole I woke up like this vibe um, it's con it, it, it's it's um convenient when you need to like just do a quick face and go out or not even do a face brows shape your face you guys so it helps in that sense and also just as an outline for my makeup it's great because I just I don't I don't I don't dwell on Elon I don't dwell on shaping and stuff a lot. Don't come down. Concealer for the eyelid. Another thing I have, I, I promised myself to do is, Wuti, I am stepping out of my comfort zone, and by that I mean I am doing everything that I feel I'd like to do or become better at. I am going to become better. Or go for everything that I like, that I love, that I like, and um, just go for the girl I aspire to be. So that is um, makeup. Ever seen how Umundu, you guys, or oh, who's got like good makeup on looks? That person could have zero confidence, but when they walk into a room they exude this confidence they like this finesse like this like you look at them and you're like mm, this girl i want to be that girl also with um exercise for example exercise makes you extraordinary like you come into a room and you're already a 10 <laughs> With exercise, I'm still working on it, but then I've also been great at like my water intake, daily water intake, also just how I eat. Mina, I'm a snacker, guys. Like anyone who knows me knows Uguti, I snack. So also with like snacks and stuff, I, I've cut down on that. And also I've substituted a lot of my snacks with a lot of my snacking time is it snacking time so manje my snack of choice is ilo is popcorn because i i because it has less calories it's it's healthier and that is homemade popcorn um i feel it's it's ilo it's healthier to 
started taking makeup more seriously because I love how I I I I look. I love how polished I look when I've got a little bit of makeup, guys. Not a lot. A little bit of makeup. So even with like the techniques, I'm working on um learning more and yeah just familiarizing myself with a lot more techniques so that my knowledge is brought up but then i'm also able to pick and choose with tanda ini and what works for me what looks good on me and just things like that so i'll be using this catrice palette um yeah can you tell which is my favorite <laughs> Another thing I need to get into is using different colors on my, like where my makeup is concerned. Because honestly, whatever it is that I do where makeup is concerned, I use the same colors. I use the same um, eyeshadow shade especially. And the thing about makeup is your eyes is the most um, important. And there am I going in again with my favorite. I'm not a makeup pro, but then so far you guys, I feel like I'm well on my way and I love that for myself. <laughs> Yeah, this year I'm going after everything I've 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 always wanted and um after anything that I like I've decided I'm going to master it. Um I've decided that I'm going to master it. So anything that I like, that I love, anything that makes me better. I don't necessarily love exercise, but then I know Uguti it 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 it, it, it um gingy. it 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 it's beneficial for me in terms of energy and really just how i look my self confidence and just what it does even in the long run like health wise and all of that so i want to be the best version of myself and it really is up to me to Go out and really just kill it. <laughs> I'm just going to re thingy Lana because that's where I need to put the other shade. <laughs> the signs you're looking like a one-way gotta make the right choice hope i make the right noise hoping that you like boys like me i know you're feeling me from across the room i got a feeling you could be my muse i hear strange when i see you you say green but i see blue either way your eyes the ones i'm looking to when i'm hell first falling from heaven baby and then on here i am going to use this shade absolutely love it these are literally these are like these are my go-to colors like when putting on you know makeup living on prayer that you can't change save me i was on Another thing I do, especially when putting on um, um, eyeshadow, is that I I count how many times I went in with the product, and for me that that helps with making my face look, um, making both eyes look similar, if not the same.
and really just looking back at my life up to thus far i am i i've always been a go-getter i've always been one to um if i decide on uguti i like something or i want to be better at it i go out and i do it in 2018 going into 2019 i So I've always had a love for anything kitchen related. My brother is a great cook. I learned a lot from him. But then we also take that from my mom. And with that, even like with baking and cooking, basically. Kitchen is my best friend after my husband. <laughs> cooking is my best friend. And um, with that... I the kitchen basically I realized how much I love like baking and stuff and um realized also I could make money out of this you guys so that's when I took it upon myself with the um, I had knowledge about baking because I'd help my mom with baking and stuff um because she would bake and resell the stuff so bake ama keke and um fry ama kuinya and stuff you guys and then she'd sell the she'd sell it a station and that's how i grew up that is my life so i took with that knowledge i went and i took it upon myself to find out ask people ask around and find out um about like where i can learn more about baking and stuff because there's money there and um a friend of mine till a friend of mine bought a birthday cake for her daughter i realized <laughs> so i realized that baking has money when my cousin ordered cake for my friend's birthday and i realized we paid 800 rand for a cake i don't get it like it's it's so much money and i felt like it's so easy to make to bake cakes and it's actually not easy a lot of work goes into it a lot of standing goes into it a lot of creativity your mind needs to be in a good place and um in order to get to get to uh like get a cake that looks a certain way and also with um that i noticed to go to a lot of people actually a lot of people who order cakes expect us to be magicians <laughs> so they'd send you this picture and they'd want it they'd want you to recreate a cake that was created by somebody else exactly the same way and it doesn't always work like that i mean i thank god for my artistic side because i can like i'm very artistic i can draw to save my life and so with that it's never been a challenge but i've noticed to go to a lot of people want that to be done so what was my point um my okay so i'm going in with this essence eyeliner 20 forever ink liner ink liner by essence intense in the color intense black so with um yeah, guys, it's coming together, ne? It's coming together, and I love it for me. The weather, the, the clouds are gathering, guys. The weather here change, huh? So is my lighting. I apologize about that. Sun, high up in the sky. Another thing I learned about eyeliner is to you don't apply it like this. You apply it like so. Or that has, I learned this, I tried it, it worked a lot better than um, almost poking your eye type of thing. Close it in 
this life you just need to be the best that you can be and that makes you feel good and fulfilled and content and content as well and with um another thing i realized we can't do all of these things without god yeah guys i'm going to go in with my liner just below liner <laughs> What I also believe in and have proven it to be true in my life is that with, um, like, I, this is me living my life. And then all of a sudden I've got this business idea or all of a sudden I've got this desire to achieve something or do something. I believe that is God placing that um, idea or that dream in your heart and in your mind and um, if you trust him enough if you've got e spirit of discernment you've got the Holy Spirit guiding you or you rely on the Holy Spirit to guide you God speaks you guys he speaks and he speaks and with him speaking it that it's not direct like how i'm speaking to you guys it's not usually direct it is direct sometimes maybe through other people and all of that but then sometimes he really just plants a seed in your heart like plants a desire or plants a dream or gives you a plan like gives you an idea that you need to execute and w when executing that idea that god has placed in your heart that is really just um you listening to him basically you listening to him and allowing him to take over <laughs> Another thing, I do not use a lot of product. I go, I, 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 I use product as I go. If I feel there's a, <gasps> no, I need to put foundation. <laughs> the That's my thing. The Okay, guys. So it's not a train smash. I don't put a lot of foundation on my um, forehead because I want my face to turn out looking um, as as not natural, but then as clean as possible. I believe with, with makeup, it's not to, I don't put on makeup to mask myself, but I just love the effect that it has on my face like uh, the complexion of my face another thing is that my blender is damp you guys like i put it under water and then it's damp it's damp to the touch but then there's no water coming out of it excreting out of it So that's what I do with my blenders. And also with makeup, I believe less is more. So if I can avoid looking like... And another thing about pushing yourself in the direction of learning more about something that you like, the more you get into it, the better you become and the more your knowledge or your brain or your, yeah, the more your knowledge or your insight on that certain topic is expanded. Initially, all I wanted to do was um, wear my mascara and my liner and really just go out and then it grew to no I need to learn about e foundation and I introduced foundation to my makeup routines where initially I would have no foundation at all 
but then now i'm being introduced to i'm a concealer guys like concealers and stuff this is not something i've always known how to do you learn these things you um you learn these things you basically take the first step into learning it and before you know it you mastering it so i'm well on my way to mastering my face in particular because that's the thing about makeup it's not the same for everybody and how you like um what your concealer looks like for example or the amount of concealer you like is not the amount of concealer liked by somebody else if you're gonna be able to see this but then this is what i use i powder contour and i use this la gay la girl pro face same brush i used for my outer thingy i used to contour when I tell you I use the same color guys for everything I even have a whole system um the same shades the same colors for your eyeshadow I am oh, you got me off of the ground So I go in again with my um, foundation sponge just to um, lighten up my contour because I don't want to look chiseled like but it must look proper either way. I am going to go in same contour powder i am going to Finula. another thing i need to introduce into my routine is blush guys the way i am scared not yeah nervous yeah not scared nervous about Ilona is actually funny I'm so nervous about it bless you guys guys I'm not a pro I do what works for my face and then for powder I use this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade cinnamon and this is to powder wherever I put Ilo wherever I put concealer so that's under my eyes it's gonna be on my forehead it's also gonna be on my nose and then final touches i use this mac highlighter you guys i'll also put a picture of it it fell it cracked i've had it for so many years so what i do is i use two fingers so the one finger i use to 
apply and then the other finger I use to blend. Same on here. And same finger. And then I put that on my so on my lips I've got Ilona. I use a bliss text. I am not um I'm not a lipstick person because I feel Uguti lipstick dries out my lips so much. But then I'm going to use Elina and a gloss. And I just need to put on lashes. I'm almost done, you guys. I'm actually I'm almost done. Let me wipe this off. So I basically put on a um, highlighter on my Cupid's bow as well. Just a bit of it. It does something. And then I'm going to use this LA Girl um, liner for my lips. It's dark brown. It says medium brown. It says medium brown and I just line my lips. I ain't never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. I know you're feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. And then I use this Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster. I'm such a Catrice girl, you guys. I'm such a Catrice girl. I see you, you say gray, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to when I'm hell first. Falling from heaven, baby. Living on So that is me. And then I just need to put on my lashes. Not sure how I am going to do this on camera. I use this a kiss strip lash glue. Strip lash adhesive. Got it from Clicks. So once I have the glue, the lash glue on the lashes, I let it dry a bit so that it is tacky yeah so that it's tacky and in that way it's easy to um put on basically i need my mirror to come closer Okay, so first you start, you push it on in the middle, you go on to the side, try not to blink whilst holding on to the lash, and then the other side, hold it in place. And there we are. <laughs> so lash two, same thing. Elevation till I look down. All the people look like it's now high. When you're on my side, side. And we are here. And then I use this Mac. Pack, pack, um, MAC Prep and Prime 
fixing spray which is at its which is at the end of its life um i'll actually put a picture of it there so then basically let that dry a bit and we almost done not almost i think i'm done hey guys so this is my final face thank you so much for tuning in do go out and trust god and follow your heart and follow god like ask god for a spirit of discernment because that helps you be able to really tell if it's the holy spirit if it's god that is speaking to you or something else and also follow your dreams and you only have one life so live it and live it well thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you learned a thing or two with yeah i think i did great with the cut crease let me know in the comment section and till the next video of vlog i love you guys so much and stay blessed see you soon Sky.